Hello everyone, Stardust King here, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. It's been about a week since I last played it, but uh, let's get into it. The last part we left off it was, you know, we just completed the Howling, and we learned about the fate of the majority of the mages. You know, how they get off if they're strong, weak, or if they're just decent. Why is this thing so takes so long? Let me join the party real quick. Bet. What's that? Dragon Age servers are simply unavailable. Please try again. Oh. I know, I know the RT. I know this one. I was just, I'm trying to lock on at people. Oh, that's a, that's a pain. Buckle of the winds. That. I have no idea what a daily tour or a city elf is. Mm -hmm. TBH. They all get off, huh? Mm -hmm. This is what I gathered so far. You seen him? When we was talking to that initial guy, our friend, Jovan, I believe that's his name, he was talking about how the, the, uh, the strong get off, mm -hmm. the weak get off, and the normal people have a chance to get off. This tower is too cold. Someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid with a death sentence? Because All blood right. magic is powerful. You can bend others to your will and and force demons into your service. Do that's what I hear anyway. When you're talking about uh, them becoming tranquil and whatnot, like they use the ability to uh, use magic. Not, not the Templars. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Dude. Who the freak is that? Do control the fire with Don't you ever get homesick? Keep the flames steady. Am I supposed to be going to some specific spot? Or magic. Magic must serve. Aren't the children just precious? Is it like a, a quest log? I mean, they did, but I haven't played this game yes. enough. Okay, I see it. Mark is active for us. Made to circle. See what Irene wants from you. I can't read the rest of that because the chat's never, you know, blocking. 
That circle print is roused you from your slumber this morning after your harrowing. After fretting about his own delayed harrowing, Jawan informed you that Irving would like to speak to you. Do not keep the first enchanter waiting. Okay, so it's that guy. Concentrate, move the shield. Oof. Oof. Okay. Let me uh let me uh let me get out of here. It is a weakness that can be exploited. I wasn't expecting to get fucking blown up. I mean, I watched one of them. I'll go back and watch the other ones later. The print is rolls of the boots. What? Yeah, I guess this is the basics right now. Okay, let's go find this guy real quick. Owen? Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? I voluntarily submitted to the Rite of Tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. I wouldn't. Tranquility has its merits. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. Uh -huh. It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice-cold water. I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. My body is similar in form to yours, possessing an equal number of limbs, appendages, and internal organs. I perform the same physical functions. My mind is capable of higher thought processes. Am I to be denied personhood because I do not feel as you do? You might as well have been an artful make construct. Person is more than just... I have parts. thoughts and memories. I remember my past, my childhood in the tower, and my apprenticeship. These experiences defined me. My lack of emotion simply adds to what is already there. But emotions are essential. Perhaps you're right, silent, you're confusing me. This is I do not have the capacity up. to be offended. Still, I believe I am a person. Very well. Goodbye. Yimsis. Uh, talk to him again. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? The Stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The Stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Very well. Goodbye. Hey, that's uh, enough to talk to him. Let's go talk to him. Your mentors must be happy for you. You passed the harrowing. Okay. Well, I mean, who better to guard your most important treasures, I guess? Anybody who has no feelings at all? book codex the history of right annulment on the founding of chantry the prophet of uh, uh andresta A 
I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Oh, Andraste, there you go. Is. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Oh, I didn't see you there. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. Oh, all right then. I, I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. Maybe that wasn't the right choice. But you can do what now? I'm looking into it. I hear Irving's very proud of you. I mean, can you romance her? You're not going to keep the first enchanter waiting, are you? Real question. I guess I should check all these rooms. Mouth of corn. I know I butchered that, uh, butchered that word all up. I didn't even try to pick. We got some documents over here. Cardinal Rules of Magic. I should really read all you these, well. but I'll That's wait. I'll That's a lot of reading. My I should go ahead and get geared up for this first initial segment of combat. Oh, um, uh, hello. I, uh, I'm. Glad to see your harrowing went smoothly. So he's a Templar. Th they picked me as the Templar to strike the killing blow if, if you became an abomination. It's nothing personal, I swear. I, uh, I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? I mean, you say that, what you were going to kill me. I mean, I take that pretty personally. Maybe some. But not me. It's my duty to hunt down apostate mages, but I do so with a heavy heart. Oof. Shouldn't distract you. From oh, you're it. not distracting. I mean, you are, but, well, you're not. I mean, you can talk to me anytime if you want. Uh, uh, yes. Maybe we can talk another time. Maybe. All right, another chest. Let's see what we got here. Delirium is magic. From what I'm gathering, I think it's blue. Ha, huh. ha! Huh. There you are. You want to be moved Your, out of the apprentice's door. Your mic is kind of cutting in and out. Tranquil will move. Like Say, delirium is a, is a mineral. It just it, it amplifies your magical abilities. Bed stockpile on that. How many rooms are in this place? Okay, here's another one of these. I think I should go back down to probably miss some people to talk to. John Cree would do something before it came to that. The force really is crazy, experience. I haven't. I think someone's here to speak to you. Hello. Congratulations on your harrowing last night. Good work. <laughs> the lore is deep. Essentially, what you're telling me uh, about fraternity. Oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. 
groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all mages should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make money, and the isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then, of course, there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the Circle, more autonomy. Huh. Well, if I had to, I'd say I was an Equitarian, but I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulrid's a Libertarian, and a loud one at that. Ah, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? An idealist, I see. Well, if you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. Lots of world to cover. Hello, were you looking I'm for something? I'm talking to you. Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. They'll never learn that. They don't want to. I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? I mean, don't they get along with the mages by Inquisition? Essentially. I'm Njal, a mage just like you. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. All right, have a good day. Do you need something? If not, step back. You're in my light. I'm trying to study. Have some consideration for a fellow mage. Are you surprised? We are probably more attuned to magic than humans are. Or at least our ancestors must have been. With most of our history lost, I suppose I'll never really know. Maybe the Dalish elves would, but I'd never met one. They live in the wilderness, traveling where they will. I've heard they keep the old beliefs alive. As do I. Perhaps one day I will have the chance to learn it. Are you from an alienage? I'm from a farm outside High Ever. My mother worked as the cook's assistant there. They must have taken you away when you were very young. I suppose it doesn't matter where we're from, does it? We're in the circle now. I am satisfied knowing the humans who look down upon me will fear me instead. But I should get back to my books. Good day. Ooh. Cheers. He was talking to you and he asked you where you were from. Like a lot of times dragon is giving you choice. It's like the dragon is like you don't have to like say you don't know where you are. You gotta just say No. It's like maybe still Man, I'll keep that in mind next time with this guy. Oh, uh, hello. 
I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? I'm sorry. There are so many of you, and I get confused. Not to mention, these old eyes are starting to go. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. Not any magic I'd be caught doing. Anyway, uh, did you need something? I'm not good at talking. Too much chatter makes my head throb. Don't you have lessons to get to? Shoo! Oof. Oh, dang. Alright, let's see. Go back down, I guess. Dang. I haven't even, even been anywhere. Yet, it's already been 21 minutes. Let's get the rest of these books. Might as well collect all the lore along the way. Some books over here. The Fade. Okay, already tried to talk to all you people. Is there anybody with basic names I don't need to talk to? You can keep, go even further down. Yes. No, I cannot. Only roads can open locks or disarm traps. Their ability is determined by cunning and talents. Locks and traps. Back up we go. I think as a maze, you could just probably spell it a lock, but then again, there are like retarded amounts of mages in this building. They probably put some events magic on it. Anybody important I can talk to? Anyone? Any books I can read? I got the chest in there. Gregor hasn't said anything yet. And shh, we're on duty. Eh, yeah, there's no one here. Someone's always watching. I swear it's like the walls have eyes. Hey, did you hear about that apprentice they're going to send for? Shh. Yes, is there something you need? No, you may not. I'm surprised you ask. I would have thought you'd be used to this idea by now. Nay, hey, I just got here. For Elden, it's not very interesting. Mostly farms, the occasional river. Yes, it is. Do you need something, or are you just here to state the obvious? <laughs> the Night Commander would have my head if I did that. Besides, I hear it takes no less than four grown men to open this door. The only safe one, as far as I know. There are windows on the higher levels, but surely you don't need me to warn you of the dangers of leaping from them. It never ends well. Make a smile fortune on you. Talk to Bran. He's the chatty one. Wasn't expecting to be able to talk to the Templars. Back upstairs I go, I guess. Yeah, that's Bed. Is there a way to move faster? You don't get 
no type mount or anything. This is the lightest dog I've ever seen in my entire life. I talked to a Wayne. The third floor I go. Oh well. Heard Dragon Age Origin was five uh, fifty hours to hundred hours. Which means we're gonna have to stream more than an hour of it each week. If I actually want to get finished. So I heard that Dragon Age Origins was fifty to a hundred hours. What was my off? I said, uh, Dragon Age Origins was 50 to 100 hours. So I just stream more than one hour of it. Be Many have already well, gone well, past Agar. Quite Wind, a bit. Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new sister in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry, the poor girl, with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Patience, child. You have been through an ordeal. Let us not rush things. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, 
I have matters to discuss with Gregor.